Um, Whenever you're ready. Um, I guess I'm going to introduce myself already as her husband. I'm Stefan. Uh, grew up in Berlin, Germany. You guys know where Germany is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I like. Yeah. So, uh, how, how old are you guys? 11. 11. 11. 12. 12. 12. 12. Um, do you guys remember what you did when you were seven years old? No. no. Yeah. Yes. yes, maybe, yeah. kind of. So if you're 11, that makes it, what, four years ago? Yeah. So 2012, whatever. Okay, so I was seven when the wall came down. Okay. So I have some recollection, not much. I remember certain pieces here and there. But, uh, you know, we're going to be talking about that. So I don't have a slide of that. So. I'm ready. Just let me know. Okay, so why Berlin, right? If you guys know, what are we looking at? What continent, countries, collection is over here? Europe. Russia? Uh, Russia, maybe. British. We got a little bit of Russia. We got Europe. Great Britain. Europe. Europe, right? Okay, so where, where's Germany? Right in the middle of Europe, right? You guys remember what happened in World War II? Uh, German, not, Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany, okay, what else? Uh, Hitler. Hitler, what else? Um, Berlin Wall. Bunch of fighting, right? Yeah. yeah. People were fighting. Who was fighting? Uh, U.S. and Japan. Okay. And Germany. I heard some. Who, who did you just say? The Russians. The Russians, yeah. right? The yeah. Russians, the Americans, Germany, obviously. Who else? Japanese. Yeah, the Japanese, but they don't play into this song too much, right? Mm -hmm. So a bunch of people were fighting. Well, what happens when you go to war and you fight? Then people people die. die. People die. But what we happens to? Destroyed. Yeah. That is exactly what I meant. Did you guys hear what he said? Things get destroyed. Okay, so we're talking World War II, right? Germany is at war. Germany tries to go towards Russia, tries to go towards the western side of Europe, right? Trying to conquer everything. Well, who got destroyed? The Berlin Wall. Well, no, not the Berlin Wall. Who got destroyed? The Germany Nazi. got destroyed. Nazis got destroyed too. Okay, we take that. Oh, All right. So what happened is after the war, after the war, right? Germany is destroyed. The Americans bombed us. The Russians destroyed the people on, on the Eastern Front, you know, complete chaos. Well, what does USSR stand for? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a Russian thing, so the Russian Federation. I can't tell you what, it, what the German shortcut is for the, for the USSR, I don't know what it means in English. Okay. I can't remember right, it's like something, something, but it's basically Russia. Before yeah. Russia broke up into all these little other countries, it was the USSR. So in this case, we still call it the USSR. So, the war was over, right? Germany was destroyed. Well, what did the Allies do? The Allies were the people that were fighting against the Germans. They divided Germany into multiple zones, right? Yeah. We got a Russian zone, which is red. We got the British zone, which is, I don't know, what, 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 what call it? Light blue? I call it light blue, I like that. You got the US zone, which yeah, is purple. dark blue, right? And then we got the French, which are white. Kind of or kind of grayish, correct, yeah. right? Pink. And then we got Berlin. What color is Berlin? White. white. It's just the box. That it's just the box, right? That's why that's so who owns it? Uh, British. I mean, Germany. Russia. 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 No. They divided French. Berlin into multiple different sectors, okay? Right. So they divided Germany after the war into each different zone, right? The US had a part. The British had a part, the French had a part, the Russians had a part. This was all over Germany, but now Berlin, right? We have a little, little square, okay? Each one of those felt differently how we should treat Germans, how we should get Germany back out, right? Because everything got destroyed. So what did they do, okay? They had Germany, right? These are all allied parts. So this is, you know, your Americans, your British, your French down here, because France is down here. And then you had, you know, Poland, the Czech, but you had Russia over here. So what Russia said, hey, you know what, we're going to take this whole part right here. But then again, remember that white square? Yeah, yeah. Circled right here, right? That's Berlin. What did they do with Berlin? They, they, they divided Berlin, right? Yeah. Again, remember how much the Russians had of Germany? Uh-huh. They had a lot, right? And then they had, and then, well, what, why was the U.S. Um, like a small little circle? Didn't have, they didn't have much. They had a specific point within the British area. Why well, in the British area? Yeah. No, they had a circle in the British area and then a big Remember the US had a big part on the bottom and then they had a small dot, but that dot was within the British? Yeah. Okay. So this is Berlin. Now we're going straight into Berlin. You good? Or did we yeah. lose you? We can go back. 
Go back. Go back? Yeah. Go back. Please. Alright, US zone, dark blue. US zone, dark blue. British zone, light blue. So the Americans had a small piece of land within the British zone that they took care of. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's keep going forward, please. So the Russians, right? They had a big piece of Germany. You know what they also did? In East Berlin, they were like, you know what, we're gonna take a big chunk of East Berlin. Well, all the Allies were like, man, what are we going to do now? You know, it's Russia on the outside, it's Russia on the, on the eastern part of Berlin. We need to get our presence in here to West Berlin. So what they did is they divided it even further. This top part is the French military sector. I grew up right here. British, Americans. They took the west side of Berlin. Now, why did they do that? Well, the Russians had an idea. The Russians actually kind of wanted Germany to stay weak so the Russians could take it. The Americans were like, nah, 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 nah. The British were like, nah, nah, nah. So did the French. They were like, hey, we do not want Berlin, the whole east part of Germany, to fall into the Russian hands. So, you know what? We're going to defend the people on the west side of Berlin. Yes. Well, is that is that like the wall on the outside? There's like a fence. You jump in, you jump in there, but yeah, there it is. So, and this is like two years after the wall came, after the the war ended. Okay, the Russians had their own money in East Berlin. They called it East DM Deutsche Mark. Okay, that was the currency back in the day. Versus on the west, we had West German marks. Okay. What they also did is they split, before the wall even came up, they split little villages, little towns. You know, let's say your grandfather owned a big farm. You know what, we're going to build a border right through your property. If you're on the left side, you're on the west. If you're on the right side, you're on the east. So guess what? If you would try to cross, you had to have papers. So they made it really difficult. Another issue is East Germany it's a lot like Southern Virginia, okay, in terms of farms, agriculture, versus the west side of Germany was all industrial. So a lot of people that were trying to find jobs, how many people can you employ on a farm? Not like, not a lot. Like how many five. people can you employ in a car factory? A lot. A lot, right? You have a big property, 20 people that help you farm. You have a big, big plan where you build cars, you're going to have a couple of hundred people working, right? So there were no jobs on the east. And since they had uh, so many people working, they couldn't give each of them the right like enough money to. Mm, yeah, not really, but yeah, kind of get that way. So what happened was a lot of the people that were living in East Germany, East Berlin, they wanted to get out. They were like, man, we 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 cannot make a living, you know. I don't make enough money what you just said. Hey, I want certain things I cannot get. This area is controlled by the Russians. How many of you have eaten mango or bananas before? Everybody. If I tell you that they had no mangoes or bananas in East Germany, would you believe it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They had no fruits like that. Okay? How many cars? Who here has a German car in their household? A German car, BMW, Mercedes, whatever. Audi, BMW. Audi, BMW. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Who here has a Ford? I got one. There you go. Who has a Pontiac or something else? Everybody has a different car, right? If I tell you in East Germany there were two different cars? What? The only two cars? And if I tell you, hey, you want to buy a car, what do your parents do? They usually go to the dealership, right, and buy one. Uh-huh. And, like, they go today, they pick it up tomorrow. If I tell you that getting a car in East Germany would take you more than 10 years, would you believe it? Yeah. No. If I tell you that, hey, you get a letter that says, hey, come by the factory on June the 10th, pick up your car, okay? And you go to the factory at the doors, and there's a bunch of people, there's like 20 people waiting, 100 people waiting. They push a car out, okay? And people look at the car, and they inspect it first before they take it. Would you believe it? Yeah. What's your favorite car color? Uh, blue. Blue cars, right? I'm sorry, sir. We only have red available today. Blue yeah. is not available. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? What are you stuck with? Red. 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 That's red. how it was in East Germany. So they were very restrictive. They didn't have the stuff that you, that we grow up with, okay? That I grew up with in the West. 
So people that were living in East Germany, they couldn't get out. One way they could get into the West, okay, is by being in Berlin and just walking right across from West Berlin into East Berlin. I thought there was a wall. Like, no, we, we, we haven't built the wall yet. Oh, oh. So the East Germans were like, man, we're losing all these people, right? Your dad is a doctor, your dad is an engineer. Hey. You guys are from the East, okay? Hey, you know what? I don't make money, I want to get out. Your dad takes you, your mom, your kid, your dog, whatever you have, yeah. walks across into West Berlin, takes a plane from West Berlin, flies over East Germany into West Germany, and booyah, you just got freedom. You can get bananas, you can buy whatever cars you want, and you can make some more money. So a lot of people were leaving East Germany through Berlin. Well, what do you do? You stop it. How do you stop it? Build a wall. You build a wall. So 1963, from one day to the next, they build a wall. Do any one of you live in a townhouse? Or I have friends that live in townhouses. Kenny lives in a townhouse. Okay. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. All right. Do you have townhouses on the other side? When you walk out the door, there's some townhouses on the other side? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll come in today. I build a wall right in between you. Your friend that lives on the other side. What does he know? He's in the other side. He's, in the, he's on the other part of the wall, right? Can you still talk to him? No. You can still talk to him. Can you still play with him and see him? No. Not really, right? Well, no, they didn't have that back in the day. But I like that approach. That's a good, that's a good way of looking through it. So they just built this wall, okay? Built it in different stretches, and they built it right through the middle of Berlin, okay? But you know what? Hey, you know, no problem. I can go to my window, open up my window, right? And yell over, hey, Billy, what are you doing? What up? You know what they did in East Germany? Shut the dire. They went in, and all the windows that were facing from the east to the west, they boarded them up. So now, once you will see that, the reason I'm mentioning this is look at pictures and you will see that if there are houses on the east that will face a lot of time, that will face the west, they will have window outlines, but there's no window in there anymore. Okay? So the East Germans really wanted to make sure you don't cross the border due to the wall. You can't scream across. It was also illegal to listen to their radio stations. So let's say you live in Texas, near Mexico, it would be illegal for you to listen to Spanish music stations. Or if we put it like this, let's say we live here in Virginia and there's a radio station in DC you want to listen to? Uh-uh, you get caught, you have problems. How long okay? Uh, you might not even come back. Oh, okay. That's, uh... Remember what I just told you, your buddy lives across the street? Uh-huh. Booyah, here's your example. Okay? Oh yeah, there's a... Um... Right, there's a street right in the middle. They just put up a wall. And there's a, um, the, the, uh, the Go back one. Okay, sorry. Oops, sorry. Uh, and you can see the balconies, they have, uh, like, um, some type of paper on them. This is hard to see, this is hard to see kind of on this picture, yeah. but you will see some pictures kind of it. So, they just split up neighborhoods. Now, guess what? Your uncle lives on the other side of the street, the other side of your borough, county, whatever. Now you just got split. You are West German, your uncle, your auntie, whatever, they're now in East Germany. They cannot get out. Okay? As a West German, you could go, depending on what you were doing, you could go into the East or, in, you know, back through. They had different methods of going in. As an East German, you could not leave East Germany. You were East German, that's it. You're East German for the rest of your life. You cannot get out. Well, people were trying to get out. Guess what happened to them? They are shot. That is correct. We're going to get to that here in a bit. So you had different border crossings throughout Berlin. And that was that. Well, you know what, too? If you want to cross the wall and you want to get across the border, right? You're going to have to see, hey, how do I get across? You guys notice this little tower right here? That's like a, that's like a smart watch tower. It's a guard tower. It's a watch tower. So what you had in there, there were people in there, sharpshooters. Yeah. Had a rifle, they scope you out. Yeah. They shoot you. If they don't see you, guess what? You go across. They had a couple of little defense mechanisms. We go over here in a second. You would get shot that way. But then also they had these border guards. And they would, you know, walk and patrol. Now, what's wrong with this picture? Let's look at both. Not paying attention. Okay. Try again. It's in color. It's it's a little bit. It's in color. It's good. 
It's a little bit hot to see. Do you guys see what he has? A sniper. No, no. he has a camera. Oh. So he takes a picture of you, of the guy that took that picture. He took a picture too. Okay, can you see his face? No. no. Can you see his face? No. Guess what? They were paranoid of being identified as being a border patrol guy. So if there were people on the west, the guy that took this picture was standing on the west side, okay? He, had, he took out a camera, the guy on the left was like, oh no, this guy has a camera. Turn around, right? What does my face look like? Can you tell when I'm turning around? No. No, you can't. Can you tell his face with the camera? No. Okay. He took a picture of the guy taking the picture. The other guy turned around, so you cannot identify these two people. And that happened a lot with the border guards throughout. In Berlin, you had a wall. For the rest of Germany, where East Germany and West Germany were, you had like a little fence line. Okay, let's go back to Berlin. So here we are, right? You see houses and booyah, you have the wall. And you got graffiti. Now whenever I show you guys pictures and you see graffiti, that is on the west side, okay? We had access to spray cans, we had access to a bunch of things. Hammer down the wall, whatever, nobody really cared. So you could do some mischief to the wall. So all the pictures that I show you that have graffiti in them will be taken from the west. Well, guess what? I brought a piece of history with me today. It's a piece of the Berlin Wall from my borough where I grew up. We're going to keep it in the bag because there's asbestos in the wall, okay? Eventually you guys will learn what asbestos is, but I'm going to hand that around. Please don't drop it. Cancer. There you go. Hit it. Oh, where were you born? East Germany or West, West. Germany? If I would be born in East Germany, we would be talking Russian. I would have a Russian accent. Now don't get fooled by this, I just didn't shave for 11 months. Okay? Yep. You can see, this was in a prominent area because he had border guards standing on top. What if, like, is it like a really slim area for the guards to stand on? This was near the Brandenburg Gate, and they actually had a platform on top. Oh, uh, I thought if it was, uh, if it was like, really small... You, you will see how small it is in some of the other pictures. Because if it but was I like small, to think they could fall over really easily. Maybe they should have fallen over. Yeah, uh, Madison has a question for you. That's right. Oh, sorry, Madison didn't see it. Um, what's that line for? This one right here? Yeah. You know the police barrier tape that says police line do not cross? Yeah. Yellow? We don't use yellow in, in Europe. We use <coughs> white and red. So that's what that is. So there was probably a protest going on. Because you can see you have some East German guys and you have a West German police guy right there. One West German who has a five. Okay, again, looking at it from the west side, you know, we could do whatever. You still see the windows, right? Again, this is hard to see in this classroom, but this is like a little tower for tourists to climb up on and look over the wall. Now, as a West German, you could do whatever you wanted, right? We could travel, we could, you know, spray paint the wall, you know, go buck wild with it. So, somebody said, hey, you know what, let's put up a little, little tower, people, a little platform, people can get up. Here's a different picture in color. Now, if you paid attention to the other picture, which was taken from probably down here, the first one standing here, and you could see that, do you see that the graffiti had changed already? Okay, so there was lots of graffiti tagging going on. People were what we call bombing the wall, okay? Bombing with cans. Oh, that's what happens now. Okay, you also had, yeah, right? You also had. A bunch of political statements going on, okay? So what you see here, whether that is right or wrong, what this picture is supposed to signify how the East German president is in line, same opinion, same everything, with the Russian guys, okay? So you had the wall, people were making political statements for that, okay? And on the bottom it says, Mein Gott, hilf mir, diese tödliche Liebe zu überleben, okay? Dear God, please help me to survive this deadly love, okay? And what that picture is supposed to signify is the ties between Russia and East Germany. Has everybody seen this piece? Everybody good? Alright. Yeah. Did you, did you like, hammer that out of the wall? Yeah. Yeah, we used to sell that to tourists. I made a good, good chunk of money from that. 
So. How much was that cost now? It all depends on, you know, what you wanted to charge. Back in the day, it was cheap, okay? All right, so this is inside. We call it the Berlin Wall, okay? You had one side on the west, and you had one side on the east. And in between is what you had over here. Who has ever been to a beach? I have. What happens when you walk on the beach? Sand and you look behind you. Sand hot. What happens when you walk on the beach? Footprints. footprints. Why do we see footprints? Sand. Sand. What kind of sand do you see at the beach? Uh, sea sand. Sea what sand is that? Sea Guess what? Why would you put that there? Oh, so you can see if people walk in the beach. Booyah! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So you can see who had crossed. So okay. if you were a god and you fell asleep and all of a sudden you woke up and you see footprints, was it a bear? No. Uh, was it one of your own guys? Could be. Uh, was it a refugee? Yeah. An East German trying to cross into West Germany? Yeah. I think that was quicksand for a minute. Just no, not quicksand. That wouldn't be that. So you had sand, right? You had the guard tower, you had the spotlight, you had lights. Look how close these lights are. And then you had a path for them to drive around. Oh. But you know what they also had? Guns that shoot by themselves. Oh. Okay. So if I'm the guy and I'm sleeping, nodding off, not paying attention, <laughs> and all of a sudden I hear, Puk, yes. Puk. may I please have Johnny for early dismissal? Yes, yes you Johnny. Can. Thank you. And I hear a gun going off, right? Something crossed. And they most likely died. So there were a lot of people that have died crossing the border. Is that why it's called the death How do by themselves? They have sensors. It's called. It's called. Yeah, yeah. called. Wait, how do you, how do, how would the how would like the West or the East German guards like not get not get shot if they're like trying to walk? Well, well the West German guy would cross over the border crossing. An East German guy, can they cross the border crossing? No. What did I say earlier? East no. Germans, man, you can't leave the country. No, but like the guards, how would they cross? Like how yeah, would they sensors, right? They, they walk path. on the path. Uh, but the path doesn't lead you but to the But the path is not near the wall. You have to cross the sand. You see how this is all like little brush and everything? Guess what's in the brush? Guns. Sensors, mines. guns. No, no mines. But they do mines in Africa. That's how they do it in Africa. Okay. So, next one. Alright, again, same picture. We have a slightly different guard tower. But again, you see the light. You see the windows open, right? You see the guy smoking, you see the guy on a motorcycle. And here you can see how thin the wall is. Okay, again, there's your sand on both sides, right? And again, a little brush in there. This might be one of those automatic guns. Not 100% sure, but it looks like it's in a spot where it's hard to see, so you would have an automatic gun in there, okay? So they're just chilling out, taking a break. Okay, again, west side. Remember what I said about the windows? Uh, what is east, what is west on here? Um, Somebody yeah. tell me. Uh, Go ahead, just shoot. The graffiti is on this side, so that's... There it. we go. Graffiti is west side. Non-graffiti is nothing. Are you falling asleep? Calling you out, man. Wait, is that the path right Do you see any windows on the east side? No. no. That's your answer. All right. I don't want you to look over into the west if you live on the east. I don't want you to see how good they have it. And look at that. You got a patrol car, you got a bunch of people, and what do we have in here? Sand, everything. Wasn't a nice place. These people were mean. The East Germans said it. Check one Charlie, very famous, everybody talks about it. They actually moved it in Berlin. Alright. East German. Alright, they have something to worry about. So the higher you are, the better you can see, right? West German checkpoint. Do they have anything to worry about? Not really. If there were East Germans coming over, come on, come on, come on, we help you. You know, if they didn't get shot, they didn't have anything to worry about. Who would want to cross into here? The East Germans over here would worry about people leaving. Alright, so real easy for us to get in, but getting out, very difficult. Have you guys ever been in the spy museum in D.C.? Oh, yes, I have. Okay, when you guys were in the spy museum, did you guys see a car? They called that the plastic bomber, a car made out of plastic that had some dolts in it, one over the engine, one in the dashboard, one in the trunk. Mm -hmm. okay. Wait, it had what's in it? Dolls, like mannequins. Fake you know when you go to a clothing store, you have these yeah. fake people wearing the clothes? Yeah. They have some of those to show you how people were smuggled out of East Germany. 
They were laying on top of the engine in a car, trying to get out. Okay, you can see that in the spam. It used to be there. I don't know if it's still there, okay? But when the spam was first opened up, it wasn't there. On top of the engine. On top of the engine. But they had little two-story games, so you can forget that. Like, well, what's going on? What's today's date? Um, the 9th of November. November 9th, 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 9th
In Berlin, we have those. So I'm standing on the east side, looking into the west. And this is Reinigdorf. This is where... Same look. Now we're just looking at it from a Google Street View car, so we're a little bit elevated. See? No more wall. The building that we see on the right is gone. You got a bunch of trees everywhere, and you can just drive right through. All right, this is really hard to see right now. But west and east at night, can you guys tell me where the wall was? Yeah. yeah. How can you tell? Because um, right where it's like all lit up. Like it's all lit up. In there, but okay. Oh, Do you guys right. notice a difference between yellowish lights and whitish lights? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Whitish lights is east. No, white is west. West, east. Oh, yeah. In East Berlin, East Germany, they use, I don't know what light bulbs I use, but the light bulbs, when you turn them on, had a yellow tint to them. And the west side, you see how you have really whitish, more lighter or greener lights? That was on the west, we used different technology. Take a guess how old that picture is. 20 years old? 2012. This picture was taken four years ago, and it still looks like this. What about this one? No, over here. Is that one? This one, yeah. So remember, Berlin, West Berlin, was only tiny like this. This is West Berlin. Berlin was maybe, West Berlin, you know, that's actually a good question. How big was it? Maybe the size of Prince William County at the most? That was West Berlin. So imagine you live here in Prince William County, Fauquier County, Stafford County, What's the left? Fairfax yeah. County, Menachem. Loudoun, are all East Germany. And if you have friends that live in Leesburg, they live in Fairfax City, they live in Spotsylvania, Fredericksburg, they would be in East Germany. We right here would be in West Berlin. And you, you can talk to them maybe, maybe, if you're lucky. But that is it, you're surrounded by East Germans, you're surrounded by Russians. Okay, that's how I grew up. So that was a good, who pointed that out? Madison. Madison. That was an excellent catch because this is East Germany. West Berlin ended right here on the bottom. If we would go back a couple of slides, you could see it. So let's go one forward, please. Yep. Now, have you guys ever seen pieces of the Berlin Wall except what I brought in today? No. Yeah. There's um, um there's this BMX. There's like this BMX track when you're um, in I don't know where it is, but in front of the BMX track they have a. Uh, like a, an institute, and they have a piece of the Berlin Wall with like a bunch of graffiti on it. This is here in Virginia? Yeah. Is it in Arlington? Uh, or Crystal City? Is it near City? DC? It's near DC. Yeah. Crystal is it City. Very close to DC? And you're surrounded by really tall buildings in Crystal City? It's called Freedom Park in Arlington. So if you want to see a piece of the Berlin Wall, you can either go to Freedom Park in Arlington, and I also think the museum has the museum a piece has a, yeah. of the Berlin Wall. So you can see it. I don't know if you can touch it, but you know you can see it in person. And the Berlin Wall is not that tall. It's maybe as tall as the floor to ceiling ratio right in here. Oh, I thought one is uh, it was like this high. Nah. The uh, initial phase, phase one was short. Phase two got taller. Phase three. All the way up to the top. So there you go. This is how it how it looked as it came down, you know, in the early nineties. You know, this is the end. You can see Pat and Claire. From I don't know what their last name is, but they were from Florida. They tagged the wall, right? They bonded real quick. You know, you can see those kids playing. Oh, that's Pat and Claire. You know, nah, it's probably Billy and... Billy and Joel. You know, yeah, that's right, Billy and Joel. You know, you could, what do we have? Uh, some other pictures. Daddy. Mommy, mommy. It says right here, if you highlight means we are getting married, and then there's probably some names underneath. Charlie, I see. And then you got Captain Tom Mo Morgan. From, yeah, maybe, yep, yeah, Ca Captain Tom Morgan from, I don't know where he's from. You. Uh, probably U.S. military. You want, you, you want, you want... United States, you want something, something being you. Yeah. 
Alright, questions? We're down to eight people. So. Huh? You, well, we have about six minutes. Six minutes. And we're eight people. Oh. We're eight people. Well, since we're eight people, I don't know the guy who left. Johnny. Johnny. Well, Johnny missed out. Okay. So in Germany, what a lot of the kids do is um, have, they have a mixed drink. Okay. Oh. Not alcoholic. Oh. Okay. No. So don't even go there. Okay. It's just a little like a soda type deal. So um, my friends from Germany send me those because they know that I'm talking every year. I only have eight, and what Perfect. you do with these is you get a glass of water, and you put them in, and they will start fizzing up, and you have different flavors. Um, so I got like water raspberry, or salted water. Oh, water. No, no, no. I got raspberry. I got the German version of root beer. We don't really have root beer. I don't like root beer. We, have the uh, we call it Waldmeister. I got some uh, orange. I got some uh, lemon. lemon. So I don't know if you guys have color preferences. Like or if you guys want to come out and just grab one, whichever. I want orange. Yeah. Yeah. So I got three left. I got. I don't even know what this is. You got orange. This is called orange. You got orange. You know what? If you don't know what you have. If you have one that has green on it, this is this is the root beer one. This is the green one. It's Waldmeister. Prickland that. Yeah. So you're gonna. So pour this into a glass of water. When I get home, and then it turns into like orange soda. Like Done. the German version of orange soda. Okay. Thank you. I want to see if I can have this or not. I'm trying to figure out what's in it. Okay. Uh, oh, do you have sugar? No, no, no. My, that's my mom. Now, if you want to know what it's got it. on the... Uh, stuff out sugar in here, I would say. Probably first. Yeah. That's I see that five. I see five grams. Yeah, Mitch. Mitzuka. Sugar. Yeah. Does it like say how much? Look for a number. It's either two, it's either 5.8. Well, that's what the whole package in here. So there's less, there's not 5.8 grams of sugar in here. It's like 5.8 of this whole thing Wait, with the other thing. He, uh, he was never here, here. but no, they were in all. Yeah. I would just ask your mom uh, and maybe just explain that you don't want to drink the whole thing, but just to taste it. Yeah. But I just if not, I can I can hide in this. Well, no, we're not hiding. We were just be up front. Are you Today. No, I like not I am, I'm like, This actually smells good. So, guys, do you have any questions for him?